1939 at the New York World's Fair, there was a remarkable process called Vitarama introduced. If you can believe it, it used 11 projectors to show images in a huge dome-shaped screen. Spectacular, but not very practical. Well, later, a man named Fred Waller simplified the process down to three cameras and three projectors. And the result was Cinerama, a huge picture that engulfed the audience with lifelike imagery and stereophonic sound. The special theaters designed to show Cinerama are now are very rare indeed. In fact, I am told that only three of them exist in the entire world, including a recently restored beauty in Seattle. It was shot from the nose of a B-25 bomber. It was developed by the man who invented water skis. The Russians tried to take credit for it. And in 1952, it knocked America's socks off. It was called Cinerama. Cinerama, the only all-new wonder in motion picture entertainment. Jumble the letters in the word American and you get Cinerama. And for a time, Fred Waller's unique way to film and project motion pictures seemed to be everything that America prided itself on being. Bigger, newer, better using three cameras to take an extra wide picture and three projectors to show it as an extra wide movie, Cinerama put the audience in the center of what was happening on screen. Moviegoers were amazed and at first they couldn't get enough of the spectacles like Seven Wonders of the World and How the West Was Won. Within a decade, more than 160 theaters had been converted to show Cinerama films. But the technical wizardry sometimes came at the expense of plain old-fashioned storytelling. And three cameras plus three projectors added up to a mountain of cash that producers and theater owners had to shell out before the first ticket was sold. By the 1970s, Cinerama had gone the way of 3D, Quadrivision, and other Eisenhower-era movie gimmicks designed to win back the audience that television was siphoning away. Fast forward to the 1990s. Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen took matters into his own hands. Rather than see the Cinerama theater demolished, he bought and restored it to its original glory, adding the best of 1990s technology in the process. This Cinerama theater in Seattle, when completed, will be one of three Cineramas in the world that's capable of showing Cinerama movies. Here, what we're doing is restripping uh, the original Cinerama screen. There are 2,000 of these three-quarter inch strips on this Cinerama screen. These are 30 feet tall, and it takes 2,000 to make up that 92-foot length. The uh, ceiling above, it's, we call it our wave ceiling. It's a mathematically calculated wave ceiling to uh, reverberate sound correctly in the auditorium. The cinema world is going through a revolution right now, and we've wired our theater for the introduction of digital projection. Only seven films were ever produced in true three-panel Cinerama format. Whether any more will ever be made is an open question. But in the meantime, a unique piece of movie history has come back to life. Incidentally, if you're ever in Seattle, drop in and catch a Cinerama movie. It is a unique viewing experience, believe me. Well, that's all the time we have. Join us again next week on AMC Behind the Screen when we're going to dive into the swinging Rat Pack classic Ocean's Eleven, and we'll take a look at some classic Hollywood homes. I'm Nick Clooney. Thanks very much for watching, and so long, everyone.